Hello, this is Javier with Car Steps, and today we're going to show you how to install the Super Hoop on a 2015 Dodge Heavy Duty 2500. Now, this application will work from 2009 through current Dodges, all cabs, except for the diesel single cab, which has the urea or diesel tank right underneath the driver door. Um, this is also a diesel, the four door diesel, which works perfectly fine. Now, we have a super hoop here. This is a larger 20 inch step, and you'll get your two brackets, your bolts, your nuts, everything that comes for you to install this. And this will also work for our 10 inch step, but you will have to drill in different places. Same heads, same brackets, will work for both steps. And um, now we're just gonna show you how to mount them up. This procedure will also work with our new step that's coming out soon, the LD step. So basically covering all steps, our super hoop step, our LD step, and our hoop two step. For this step, we're gonna open your door. Now depending on where you have your seat, some of you guys have it back, some of you guys have it more front or forward, get your step use the uh, center of our step, which is our crest, our logo. And you want this to be pretty much in the middle of your step there. So make sure you keep that in mind. What you want to do there is you might want to get your marker. So lock it up to your uh, controlled rocker panel. And just put a little mark where you see how you're going to go about centering it. Just put a little mark. Like that you'll know exactly that this is your spot for mounting your step. Okay, now that I'm underneath the truck, I have my step here. And my line is right here. So what I have to do is Make sure this line here that we marked earlier is pretty much close to being the center of the step. As you can see here, here's my line that follows to the front. And that should be center with the logo on our step. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to mark each bracket right on the inner lip here closest to the truck and repeat that for the other bracket as well what you do after that is now you have your points of where your bracket is going to go you remove your bracket Make sure everything's hand tightened for now. You don't need to tighten it all the way. This will be done at the end. So like this, you have easier access taking off your brackets, putting them back on. So now that you have your mounting point, as you have here, you mark your hole. Same thing for the other side. The higher you can get this bracket up in there, the better give you more material underneath your hole or beneath your hole and there you go what you do here is you start off with your eighth inch drill bit that you will need also for another hole that I'll show you but you start off with your eighth inch drill bit Make sure you have safety glasses. You will get birds coming down on you. And uh, start drilling away. Okay, here we are again. I have drilled my hole out with a pilot hole, which is the 1 8 drill bit. Then I opened it up to a 5 16 hole. Now, what you'll do here is you'll get your bracket. Pull through. And 
that in. Do the same thing for the other side. And now what you're gonna do is the eighth inch drill bit again. Once you have tightened this all the way, this is tight all the way. You're gonna use your eighth inch drill bit and use your hole up here as your pilot or as your guide to put an eighth inch hole in here. This is gonna be for your sheet metal screw. Okay, now we have our brackets here with our sheet metal screw installed. Once you drilled your, your pilot hole, which is an eighth inch hole, um, get it started. You can use a, uh, what I used to is a uh, 5 16 socket. Ran them in there till they were tight. You have your 5 16 bolts nice and tight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the step on. Slide it in there. I'd like to start with the front holes first. Well, this procedure to get all four bolts in and you can tighten your step now. Okay, here's our step. Nice and tight, as you can see. You got your quarter 20 bolts on uh, nice and tight on both sides. And that I used a um, 916 uh, socket and wrench. And this is your final install here. You're nice and done. Every, make sure everything's nice and tight. Now what you want to do is a few months down the road, just crawl down here and check your hardware that's still nice and tight. But other than that, you're ready to go. No, on the back door, for the four door, this is what you're gonna have to deal with. There's two humps under behind here. It'll let you, it will only let you install your step into the vision. You can go either for the forward position or it'll be back position, which it's all personal preference at that point where you would want it. Here or here. Now on our smaller step, this, this won't apply. Our smaller step will mount right in the middle. But with the larger step here, the super hoop, it's going to be either forward or back step. These are the bumps we were talking about. So what you would do is either you would mount towards the front to clear the front bump or towards the back to clear the back bump. Nope. Front bump. Back, back bump. Here's the stand installed. See? Open your door. Now remember, we took this step for all four doors. Exactly the same procedure. For the small step, the bigger step, and our LD step. Super hoop, hoop two, LD. Please keep checking us out for new and improved updates and uh, new products.